How goes the uprising? Well enough, Inquisitor. We understand the Lord Melaton has declared the Helican Schism over and quashed, though pacification wars are still raging across Thracia. Losses? Considerable. Mainly to the population and materials of the world affected, though some fleet and guard units have taken a beating. Lord Glaw's treason has cost the Imperium dear. Glaw's treason has cost him his life. His body rots on a nameless world in the system behind us. Your master will be pleased. We have read your preliminary report, Brother Eisenhorn. Quite a tale it is. You pursued Glaw's heretic fleet to this Emperor-forsaken outer world, certain that they planned to trade with the Xenos breed, an item whose very nature would threaten the safety and sanctity of our society. Indeed, Lord Brother. The aliens possessed a single copy of a profane and forbidden work we know as the Necrotu. Is that confirmed, Brother Eisenhorn? Lord, it is. I saw it with my own eyes and felt its evil. The Saruti came upon a lost copy thousands of years ago and agreed to exchange it with the Glor Cabal for certain artifacts of their own culture. Preposterous! The Necrotuch is a myth! And a wretched one at that! These twisted alien filth have fabricated this as a lure for the gullible heretics! It has always been claimed that the stakes in this matter have been astonishingly high. Though I am shocked by Brother Gregor's news, I'm not surprised. Only an icon as potent as the Necrotuch could have set this bloodshed in motion. But the Necrotuch... such a thing. Were they successful, Brother Eisenhorn? No, Lord Brother, they were not. The aliens were driven off and most of the heretics' advance guard, including Lord Glor and Mandragore, a blasphemous child of the Emperor allied to his cause, were slain. Some heretics escaped your purge. Two key conspirators, brother. The traitor Gorgon Locke, who I believe was instrumental in forging the original contact between the Saruthi and Glor's Cabal, and an ecclesiarch named Datso, who I would see as the spiritual force behind their enterprise. They fled from the fight, rejoining the waiting elements of their fleet and left this system. Destination? It is still being plotted, Lord Brother. Even if they're running, we cannot permit them to escape. They must be hounded down and annihilated. No one has asked the most important question of our heroic Brother Eisenhorn. What happened to the Necrotuch? I did what any of us would have done, Brother Molitor. I burned it. Emperor, save us. Enough! State your objection, Brother Molitor, quickly and simply. Eisenhorn must suffer our sternest censure for this act of vandalism. The Necrotuch may be a foul and prescribed work, but we are the Inquisition Lord. By what right did he simply destroy it? The contents of the Necrotuch might have given us insight into the arch enemy of mankind. Incalculable insight! Eisenhorn has disgraced the very heart of our sacred Inquisition. Brother Songard. My lord, I agree. It was a desperate and rash action by Eisenhorn. I may applaud his rigorous efforts in thwarting Glor and his conspirators, but this erasure of occult law earns only my opprobrium. Brother Voke? What's it? Is this a court, my lord? Am I on trial? No, brother, you are not. But the magnitude of your actions must be analyzed and considered. Brother Volk? Eisenhorn was right. The Necrotuch was an abomination. It would have been heresy to permit its continued existence. Brother Endor. Gregor Eisenhorn has my full support. From your moaning, Molitor, I wonder what kind of man I'm listening to. A radical, certainly. An inquisitor, I have my doubts. You knave! You horse and bastard knave! How dare you! Very easily. What secrets did you both think we could learn? 
except perhaps how to pollute our minds and boil away our sanity. The Necrotuch has been forbidden since before our foundation. We need not know what's in it to accept that prohibition. Tell me, do you need to actually contract Ulrin's pox yourself to know that it is fatal? The objections of my brothers are noted. I myself commend Eisenhorn. Given the extremity of his situation, he made the best decision. Thank you, my lord. Let us retire now and consider this matter. I want to hear proposals for our next course of action in four hours.